three, two, one. I was blessed to have parents that uh, never put any qualifiers on what I could do. If I said I want to be an astronaut, and I did when I was three years old, I looked at my mom and I said I wanted to be an astronaut, she never told me that I couldn't. Pick up this octopus, which is actually... And if I ever got any inkling from anybody uh, that I couldn't do it, my mom would say, well, do they work for NASA? Well, then I guess their opinion doesn't matter, does it? I came in uh, out of West Point and I flew Kiowa Warrior helicopters. And it was the path that I wanted to take, even if I had not become an astronaut. I wanted to serve my country in the Army. I, I believe that I thrived in the Army because I was judged 100% on my merit and what I contributed to the units that I was a part of. And that's what I really tell young women that want to be evaluated on a level playing field, is to, to join the Army. So you kind of, in your mind, do the 3D math. If it's uh, one of the most challenging and cool things we do here at NASA is that we don't do the same thing, you know, any two days. And so we could be in the water in a spacesuit on Monday and in Russian language class on Tuesday and then we're sitting in Mission Control talking to the space station on Wednesday and I enjoy that. I've had uh, two tether failure, I am off, I'm deploying my hand. Yeah, uh, you know, I look at my bio and um, one of the things that makes me proudest is that I made my 10-year-old self proud. But the big thing is to be true to yourself and to be passionate. And we tell this to candidates that come and they want to be astronauts and uh, they always ask us and they say, should I go to this university? Should I major in this or that? Should I get this job? And we say you have to do what you're passionate about because otherwise you're never going to have enough energy to do all the hard work that it takes if you don't actually enjoy doing it. And uh, to this day, if I had not been selected as an astronaut in 2013, um, I would be thrilled to still be serving my country in uniform. And uh, you know, the Army's probably going to have to uh, kick me out at some point because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs>